Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to learn about balancing of masses. First we know about balancing and unbalancing. Let me consider one shaft or rod. When shaft is rotating along its own axis, it's only smooth rotating, no vibration, no noise, nothing else. So it is completely balanced. We need to add one moss in particular plane with certain distance R or eccentricity. Now the shaft is rotating again. The moss will try to pull out the particular point. The force is generated. That force is called centrifugal force. That formula of centrifugal force is M omega square R. Now the equilibrium is affected then there is a vibration occurs, then it is unbalanced condition. If we need to balance this shaft, what we will do, we have to add one more mass on other side with same distance or with same mass. Now the shaft is rotating, the mass will Try to pull out the particular point, the force is generator. That force is called centrifugal force, that is M omega square R. We have to take it as F1 in this case. For this is plus, this is minus. So the both masses is same. Moss is here also same. Here also same, the distance also same, so this both is cancelled. So sigma f is equal to 0, this is in equilibrium condition, otherwise f is equal to f1, m omega square r is equal to m omega square r, so both is cancelled, so sigma f is equal to 0. Now the condition is balanced. Let us consider another shaft in that we have to add one mass here m1 the certain distance is r1 or eccentricity in that we have to add another mass m2 with certain distance r2 with the angular velocity also different in this case. Now the shaft is unbalanced condition. What we will do, we have to balance in this case, we need to add one more mass on other side. That is called M3. This is R3. This is another plane we have added one mass. This is another plane we have added M2 mass. This is another plane we have added M3 for other side. We don't know the mass value, radius value and angular value. The plane position also we don't know. We have to calculate the balancing of mass in graphical method. We have to calculate mass and radius and the particular location. Which location the shaft is balancing. That one only we need to calculate in graphical method. In this case two methods are there analytical and graphical method but in this case we have to calculate only the graphical method in the next class. Thanks for watching this video.